Zero to Gi. Learning better is better. Welcome to the HTML graphing and data visualization. What a big word for a book. So welcome. This is my first book I've ever written. And the name of the book is HTML graphing and data visualization cookbook. The book is my well, my name is Ben Fallon. I'm your host and the creator of the book. And what we're going to do is a lot of shorts. And the, in these shorts, I'm going to give you kind of a bit of insight into how the chapters were created and how they're broken down into. And more importantly than that, how could you use it to become a better developer? And that's all we want to be really, right? Better developers or better people or sometimes both. So my fellow geeks, in chapter one, we're going to be focusing on drawing shapes in Canvas. We don't expect you to have a background in HTML5. A little bit of HTML will help. A little bit of JavaScript will definitely help. Some pro background in programming is definitely mandatory. So without further ado, I just want to say one more thing that every Wednesday we'll be releasing a new vignette, a new video dedicated to another task that you could do in the book or another book. So Wednesdays are going to be our book day and our book date. So write that up on our calendar. And if you need to figure out and you don't want to memorize it, just go on to our YouTube channel. This video is on YouTube. Find our subscribe button. Join us. It'll make me really happy. Trust me, every time I see someone subscribe, I get a little smile. If I get three, four subscriptions in a day, I get really happy. And you want me to be happy. I'm happy. I make more videos and more stuff. And then you get happy, I hope. And then we're all happy, right? So without further ado, let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down and understand what do what will we be learning in chapter one, which is called drawing shapes in Canvas. Now, Canvas was introduced into HTML5. It's really, really cool, very, very fun, and there's a lot of things you could do with it. The whole book is really dedicated to Canvas. It's dedicated to how to use it and leverage it and how to work with JavaScript to create graphs and data visualization, how to connect data into things. But before we start all those stuff, all those cool stuff, we have to get to know how to work with Canvas and, and the essence of it. Now, after this overview of what we're going to basically learn in this chapter, I'll also give you a task that I hope you will uh, do. And that task will help you kind of figure out and make sure that you know what you're doing before you move on to the next chapter. All right, so let's get started. So there's a few topics inside of this chapter. And the first one is we're going to see a live example of creating something in Canvas, which is a little bit more complicated than probably you'd want to do on the first, first things you do. Don't worry if it's a bit too complicated. Really, the first, first recipe is just to get you into the mindset of building in Canvas. The next next recipe that we'll be building will be starting a shape, a basic shape. So we'll create a basic shape and we'll see how to create basic shapes inside of Canvas. Following after that, we're going to start learning how to create rectangle, re layer together rectangles to create a real shape. So in our case, we're going to pick our first thing, which will be, by the way, a subtopic of our learning, which will be countries, flags, and information. So in this chapter, we're going to do a lot of flags, and those flags are going to be a really great way to get you motivated in doing something and seeing how these basic things that we're learning are already implementable and usable. So already in our third recipe, we'll be creating the flag of Greece. Following that, we will move on to more complex type of elements, which will be creating shapes using paths. So we'll see what paths are and how we could use them, and not only that, we'll see them in a live action, and you guessed it, we'll create a map of well, not a map, we'll create a flag of some country. I wonder which one. Do you wonder? Well, you'll have to get the book to find out, right? Or check our source files, which are free. And create a complex shape. Wow. So after learning how to create paths and creating rectangles, it's time for us to create something more complicated. And again, we will pick a flag from the world that will be more complicated to create our shapes. And don't worry, in a couple of minutes, we'll show you the different flags that we'll be creating in the in the chapter. And by the way, if you don't have the source code already, you can go into our website on zero to in our book section, just find the book HTML graphing and data visualization cookbook or search for it. And you will be able to download all the source files are completely free. And we do hope and I personally do hope that you buy the book or join our website or both or just subscribe on our website because well, it just makes me happy. And you know, well, I hope it makes you happy too. So chapter six, adding more vertices. And we're going to see what that means. I'm not going to get into that right now because that seems a bit complex. But really, the idea behind it is to help us create shapes that are more detailed and more interesting. And literally, the whole goal of chapter one is to kind of give you that crack into that world of drawing in general, drawing in code, 
and doing it in Canvas and HTML5. So it's bundling a lot of information, but it's deliberately set in a very linear motion where the easy stuff, we start from the easy things and we slowly, slowly progress. And that's exactly the recipe of the whole book itself. So I've tried in uh, every chapter to make it a little bit more complex, a little bit more interesting, a little bit more layers of information. And we wrap up our first chapter of our book with one last text, which was overlapping shapes to create other shapes, which is really what you got to do to create a lot of shapes. You can't really create every shape on your own, and you have to figure out a way to configure shapes together to create other shapes. And again, in this scenario, we're going to be picking flags of the world, world, and with them, we'll be able to create that. From our, from our um, link of our book, so I don't know if you could read this and type that all in, but you could get to our book by just clicking onto the book section and finding the HTML graphics and data visualization cookbook. You can find the source files on the bottom of the screen next to your book source files, which I'm sure the design will change at some point because it seems like a wrong place for our source files to be, but for now, they're down in the bottom of the page. If not, I'm sure you'll find them really up and visibly, but by the time we were doing this recording, it's kind of... Low. Right. You don't need to see what I searched on Google a couple of minutes ago. All right. So let's see our first example. So our first example is basically this canvas uh, drawing. So we have a canvas stage and we're randomly generating all these different color configurations inside of our canvas. And that's going to be the first recipe we see the first canvas project that we'll ever build together. Followed by that, we'll start building flags of the world. And you can see some of the flags that we'll be building together. And some of them we'll be building actually in chapter two, but I combine them all together so you have a nice view of the different variations and complexities of shapes that we're talking about, from building different um, odd shapes to masking shapes together to create other shapes, all the way through creating something really complicated like the flag of Canada, which I think is a really cool flag. Or the flag of Israel, which is quite complex, but that will be done probably in chapter two. With that said, let's go back into our presentation and in our presentation itself let's talk about one next topic and our next topic is really wrapping up what should you do so now that you completed this chapter if you just started it that I would say you could even pause this video learn the chapter read it come back and then watch this segment of the video now what task that I want you to do when you complete the chapter the best thing you could do is pick three flags of the world any flag you want that you think you could build based on everything that you've learned so far and create it now if you want to make me happy again send it to me i would love to see your work and i could even upload it onto our website and share it with our fellow geeks so i would really love to be in a scenario where we have all the flags of the world done in code and that would be so cool it would be i would even be willing to open up a website for it but for that i need all of your submissions so feel free to submit you don't have to be a paying subscriber to do that with that said if you're one of our paid subscribers you could ask us questions feel free to ask and and we'll help you if you don't understand something in the code we'll take a peek and see it if you're not one of our paying subscribers, unfortunately, we can't offer you that service because that is only available to our paying subscribers. But if you're not a paid subscriber, please join us on YouTube where you could get our weekly updates, which we have a lot of cool videos, and you could enjoy our experience without us looking into your code. Um, but we still would love to get your source files if you want to show off what you've built on your own because we're always happy, and I'm personally always happy to know that I've helped someone even if they don't pay me. So that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this chapter one. And thank you again for joining me. Thanks for buying the book. If you haven't buy it, bought it already, thanks for thinking about buying it. If you're not planning on buying it, well, well, I have nothing to tell you, really. I, I barely want to continue talking now, thinking about the idea that someone's watching my video and they don't want to buy my book. That's It's almost painful. All right, but enough about that. So don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again. Bye. Please subscribe to us, we love you so much. Please subscribe to us. Zero to Geek. Learning better is better.